In this video we will show you the steps needed to enter your personnel into AMS and how to assign them a badge for access. In the previous videos we already learned how to install the product and how to configure the devices. We also became familiar with the map view. In the last part of this video we are focusing on the swipe ticker in the map view. Where we can see, in real time, who is entering or leaving the premises. The names chosen in this video for company and persons are all fictitious. The persons are not based on real people. Any resemblance in portrait or name is due to coincidence. The office that we are going to secure belongs to the company Rojo Security. The managing director of Rojo Security is Charles Smith. James Williams is responsible for the sales. The marketing activities are provided by Gianna Garcia. Sukio Tanaka is in charge of the office and welcomes the clients. All these people need access to the office and therefore we need to assign them a badge. Let's start with the creation of a company. That should be done before creating personnel records for that company. Companies are used to separate or group the personnel. From the main menu navigate to personnel data and then select companies. The company's name and short name must be entered. The short name must be unique. Now that we have a company, we can create the personnel records and assign the company to each of the employees. Under persons, we start with the creation of the boss, Charles Smith. Even the general manager is an employee. He definitely shows masculine features. The birth date should be entered in the format month, day, year. The user's department will also be shown in the swipe ticker. The other male employee is James Williams. He is the sales guy of Rojo Security. Gianna Garcia is the lady who works closely together with James. She does the marketing for Rojo. Everything that goes on within the office walls during office hours is handled by Sukio Tanaka. Hence her department, office management. Before we can actually assign cards to people we first have to configure a reader that assigns the cards. From the main menu, we navigate to configuration and then options. Then we click on card reader. That reader could either be a dedicated enrollment reader that is connected to the workstation of the card assigning operator. Or that could be an already configured reader attached to the controller. A so-called dialog reader. We will select the one that is connected at the inside, also known as inside out. We are not completely ready yet. Two more steps are needed. First card definition. Select what type of cards to use and what encryption. For this video we will use only Bosch 63 bits encoding. Then comes the last preparation step. Make an authorization. That is in system data. Without authorization, no one will get access. We will create one authorization that will allow people to enter and to exit the building. So we select both directions. Now that we selected an assignment reader and a card format and also set the authorization, we can start with assigning cards to the personnel. Under personnel data we select cards. All four employees will get a personal card with a unique number. Let's start with the last person in the list and assign him the first card. First we select the appropriate reader and then we click on the button to record card. We present the card and let the reader read the card details. The card's unique number, CSN, will be displayed and saved in the system. This card now belongs to James Williams. Also in this screen, we can assign the authorization to the people. We move forward and we will assign a card and an authorization to every person. Sukio Tanaka. Charles Smith.
and Gianna Garcia. There is one more obstacle for the people to enter the building. And that is the extra authentication that we configured in the previous video, where we required a PIN code on the left to select reader at the outside to get in. The length of the PIN code can be configured. The option to do so is in Configuration, Options and then Select PIN Codes. The default length is 6, and can be set from 4 to 9 digits. We will keep the default value of 6. The user has 3 trials to type the correct code. Now we know that we have to set a 6 number code for every user. Therefore we go to PIN codes under Personnel Data. For the video, let's keep it simple by selecting, copying and pasting the last 6 numbers of the CSN. We will repeat that procedure for the other three users. When we want to print the people's portraits on the cards, we can add their photos to their accounts. Portraits are also shown on the swipe ticker when a person is authorized at a door by presenting its card to a reader. It is still in the personnel data menu, where we select the option print badges. We select a user and then click on Capture or Import Picture. When you select Import you can choose any digital format that holds a portrait of the user. The size does not matter. Select and resize the part of the photo that best represents the person's portrait. The picture is immediately saved in the database. All the Roho employees will get a nice photograph that will be printed on their badges and shown in the swipe ticker. Now let's have a look to what actually happens when a card is presented to the reader. Therefore we have to go back to the system configuration and have a look to the terminal layout of the entrance. We see that there is an input and an output signal, automatically set by the chosen door model. By presenting the card with a valid PIN code, the output sends an electronical signal to the door opener to release the door. The user opens the door and the door contact signals the broken magnetic connection and sends an alert to the system. In the map views swipe ticker, we can follow the incoming and outgoing of people when they pass the entrance with their cards. In the filter we can enable what entrances we want to monitor. First person entering is always Sukiyo Tanaka. She is responsible for disarming the alarm and arming the systems. A short while later James Williams comes in. He will pick up some documentation before he leaves to the customer. Gianna Garcia is the third person entering this morning. At 8 o'clock sharp the boss comes in last. James Williams has left the building to visit his customer this morning. So now there are three people still in the building. The swipe ticker can also be opened as a standalone window. Hereby we end this video about personnel and cards. We started with creating a company and introducing the personnel. We registered the people and assigned them a card, a PIN code and an authorization to enter the building. Finally, in the swipe ticker, we could see that everything we had previously configured was working properly and being carefully registered. In the next video, we will learn you how to create a personnel card with company details, portrait and the company logo.